The first thing I've learned from using DeX for over a week as my main mobile computing solution is just how fast my S21 Plus runs when in DeX mode. It absolutely flies, it crushes the web browser, and we'll talk about that in a second. All of my productivity stuff, all my email stuff, all my calendar stuff, even some light photo editing, DeX for me has just been game changing, especially because it's always connected. What's up guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And I wanna go ahead and talk about what I've learned after switching to DeX as my mobile computing solution. Quirks, features, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about how my Uperfect X Pro DeX dock has played into all of that, things I like about it and things I hate about it. Now, the second thing that I'm absolutely in love with regarding DeX is the fact that I'm always connected. At least here in Vietnam, I'm paying $4 for four gigabytes of data a day. Also in Vietnam, most of the houses here are made of brick, meaning Wi-Fi signal oftentimes isn't that great in the entire house or in the entire business I'm working at or wherever. And that means that my high-speed LTE connection can be invaluable if I need to connect to the internet. And being that the whole heart of DeX is a mobile phone, not having to take my device out and tether it to a laptop just saves time and is ultimately more convenient. The third thing I've learned is how much I rely on Zoom for my job and how much I am resenting the fact that Zoom is just ultimately incompatible with DeX. Now in Vietnam, I am still doing online teaching. All of this online teaching essentially utilizes two things, a PowerPoint presentation and Zoom. And in order for me to teach on Zoom mobily, I have to connect to my Zoom class with two accounts, one from my Pixel and one from my Samsung. One of them is sharing the PowerPoint, the other one is sharing my face and voice, and this just drives me insane, the fact that I have to do this double phone thing, get a standout for this, it's just really inconvenient. Please, Samsung, do some type of workaround to allow us to have DAX fully featured, and I wouldn't even consider buying a laptop to replace this. Now, the fourth thing I've learned is that the Samsung battery protection is really, really nice, and it's also kind of necessary if you wanna use DeX all day. Let me explain. Now, when your phone is plugged in using DeX, it uses a bit of power. It's not super power intensive, but definitely drains the battery. I have battery protection enabled on my device, meaning it never charges above 85%. It kind of stays between the 85 to 83% mark. Now, if I am using DeX with my Uperfect X, I need to enable charging on this to keep my phone in that 80-ish percentile. If I plug this into this device and it's below uh, that 85% mark, then it's going to drain that internal battery to charge my phone, ultimately giving me less runtime um, on my Uperfect X. And the 10,000 milliamp hour battery on here does charge relatively quickly. By the way, this is my solution for holding my phone on. I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, I, I, I gotta say that if you are going to be using Samsung DeX and your phone is below 50%, below 40%, you're gonna wanna have that whole setup plugged in and charging. Now, one thing I have noticed that has been incredibly helpful with the Uperfect X Pro and Samsung DeX is that if I'm using a normal Quick Charge 3 or a USB-A socket, which is not USB-C power delivery compatible, I can charge my phone and charge the Uperfect X Pro, and the Uperfect X Pro essentially trickle charges. So you're not holding any of these devices at 100% battery for a long period of time. As you guys know, I care a lot about battery health. With the charger that I utilize, I can just either plug it into the USB-A or the USB-C port. If it's the USB-C port, it's gonna charge it. USB-A port, it doesn't charge it, or it trickle charges it like 1% every five or six minutes. That's a great workaround. Now my fifth takeaway from replacing my mobile computing unit with a Samsung DeX based setup is that Samsung needs to add palm rejection to the software. The fact that I'm constantly turning the trackpad on and off on the Uperfect is such a headache. And that's really no fault of Uperfect as the 
like trackpad is doing exactly what it's intended to do. It's just an admission from Samsung Dex software that we really need fixed. Like dear Dex gods, please add palm rejection. If someone knows a third party workaround or an app that I can do, go ahead and comment that. That would make my life extremely simple. Now my sixth takeaway from this is that browsers matter. Browsers matter a lot. Normally I use Brave Browser to earn crypto, which you guys can tip me for. If you guys are Brave Browser users, it goes to supporting me. Awesome. If not, whatever. Uh, and I tried using the stock Samsung one. Stock Samsung one was fine. Then I used Microsoft Edge and using Microsoft Edge was fantastic. If you're using DeX, Microsoft Edge is by far one of the best, fastest, most full featured solutions. All of the issues that I was having with Brave browser completely fixed using Microsoft Edge. If you're using a different browser, I know some people have used Firefox. Some people on the Reddit were telling me to use Edge. Let me know what browser you guys use in the comment section down below. Now, before we get to our seventh and last takeaway, I wanna go ahead and thank the sponsor for today's video, my company actually, TechFluent. Now, if you guys see, I have these little like neoprene pouches stuck on the back of my UPerfect X Pro. And I use these pouches to go ahead and hold my phone secure against the back of my device so it doesn't move. That's not what these are designed for. These are actually designed to hold your hard drive. We have a smaller version for an SSD. They're used to hold it to the back of your laptop so you don't potentially break your hard drive and lose all your data. But if you guys wanna get one of these to use with your deck setup, I'll have links to it down in the description down below. It's what I use. It's a perfect solution. I can shake it. I can bring it on a roller coaster. I don't have to worry about it falling out. I use two of them, put them like side to side, and it's great. Now, the last and final thing that I've learned from this has been using DeX without a keyboard, which I know is kind of not the purpose of DeX. That said, the fact that I can go ahead and turn the on-screen on keyboard on when I have the keyboard detached is fantastic but using a 15 inch screen with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery with one hand isn't the most, it's not the most convenient thing. It's not the most ergonomic thing. It's not the, 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 it's not something I would suggest to most people, but the fact that you can remove the keyboard and you have very much like a tablet thing, you can turn off dex mode to just have like a, a big tablet interface. That's great. Um, I am pretty happy with, my experience using it with the keyboard cover, without the keyboard cover. My typing experience on the keyboard cover has been totally fine. Battery life has been totally fine. Now I am looking to add a screen protector that's a matte finish screen protector to my U-Perfect X Pro, just because it's not the brightest of screens at only 300 nits. It's fine for most office environments when I have to take it into the office. That said, I would like maybe 450, 500 nits, and that would make this device a work outside, work away from home. I understand they would need to put a bigger battery in it. That's just, you know, let a boy dream here. Okay, let me know what your DeX setup is in the description down below. If you're using it with a monitor, if you're using it with a USB hub, what peripherals you're using it with. I'm interested in that stuff as someone that's now basically converted to using DeX almost full time for my mobile work stuff in my office that I'm working at now, doing YouTube content for them. Okay, until next time though, it's been Mitchell, peace.